right let's get started uh namaste everyone um welcome to hindi university uh, really excited to have all of you this sunday um as you know my name is ashutosh uh, and we meet uh, every sunday 8 am us specific time um to learn about the hindi language uh, for those of you who are completely new to hindi university you can learn more about us by going to our youtube channel uh, youtube.com/hindiuniversity uh you where you'll find all the videos that we've uploaded in the last you know past 15 plus years and if you're interested in joining the live classes that we have you can get all the details on this page which is to tiny.cc/hindiuniversity one word uh and uh, you will get all the details about how to join the uh the sunday classes a link for that uh, similarly how to join the the number of practice sessions that we have uh, you can get the details so you will have the the issue schedule like so it's like a calendar where you can see the time in the utc time zone and you can convert into your or local time and then you can join all the practice sessions um you will have like the books that we have been following as well as the prior lectures in case if you missed any of the prior lectures um so you will get all the details so i i highly recommend you bookmark this page and continue to check it so that way you will be apprised of all the, the details okay um as you know lately we've been following um you know a combination of books uh, for the beginners plus we've been following uh, pingu learns hindi as well as uh, richard delacy's elementary hindi um richard delacy is a hindi professor at uh, you know uh, harvard university uh, for the intermediate plus it's a combination of multiple books right which is which includes like you know rupert snell uh, kavita kumar as well as like usha jain and uh, you know number of other resources okay with that being said um, as you know that we've been covering chapter 11 from uh, richard delacy uh, so my goal is like we will continue uh, this chapter yeah, during this class as well and by the end of this class there are couple of things even though originally i was thinking i'm going to do contrafactual sentences but slight in plan uh, in this class we will cover time related adverbs it's a very interesting topic and um, when i was preparing i was like you know i've not covered something like this in the last so many years so why don't we cover something new okay Uh, which will be new for all everyone all levels beginners as well as uh, you know advanced okay so by the end of this class you will be pretty good with the time related adverbs okay most likely this session we're going to continue next class as well this is a big topic okay um so with that in mind let's get started as always you know uh, you have any questions um you let me know you can definitely ask uh, and i think a number of folks joined welcome uh, i'm going to just put everyone on mute so there's no background noise okay Um, so let's get started. Uh, Time-related adverbs. Um, most of you probably remember the basics of adverbs and uh, uh, somewhat familiar with with with, 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 with that, right? So, but regardless, I'm going to give a, a a refresher on that, right? So, adverbs are basically nothing but um, you know the the words that describes or modifies that describes. or modifies your um verbs uh adjectives and sometimes even adverbs those are the words those words are called um adverbs what do we mean by by that so let's say if you mention like you know um he sings he sings right now you only know that you know there's a verb called to sing which is gana but like if you have a manner in which a some person is singing like you know beautifully or loudly like that's describing the verb that's your end word adjective like you know that tall it's an adjective but like if it is you mention about very tall your very here is an adverb right very tall right similarly if you were saying ended up too quickly okay too quickly there you are modifying uh ended too quickly okay so that you're modifying your your adverb itself so all those are known as adverb okay 
another way to understand adverbs these are the you know words that describes your how when okay these are the words that describes how when where it means khana it yes. means khana that is correct right to eat is khana that's correct eat khana yeah okay you can yeah i'll, I'll come to you. i'll give you opportunity to ask question as well right so um how when where how often okay so another way to look at it goes is like you know the, the words that will you know describe you know for example he sings the manner in which he's singing how right and you can tell how is loudly similarly when does he sing okay it could be like yesterday today tomorrow all those words that giving the information about when that's basically your your adverbs right uh, how often you can say like, like frequently okay or occasionally okay so a lot of the words that are ending with ly okay that those are also your adverbs like loudly beautifully uh, you know innocently right a lot of them ending with ly those are also known as adverbs okay in this class we'll be focusing on adverbs for time so so far we are just covering definition but now we'll if they can be categorized into many different levels but right now in this class we'll be focusing on adverb for time okay so any questions on the i mean let's take a pause any questions on the definition so far you can unmute yourself and ask good everyone thumbs up awesome All right so let's get into the why we have to separately discuss it like we have covered it was before as well but what's different okay and I, I like the way you know Richard Delacy has covered it to be honest with you right so adverbs time related adverbs so if you guys recall time related adverbs if you recall you know few classes back we we learned about you know when you're talking about specific days and dates okay let's say the situation is uh, let's say Aneska, you were to say, I am going to India. Okay. The natural question would be when. Okay. When, as you know, it's also an adverb. The question is somebody is asking, Kab. If she says, like, you know, I'm going to India, and somebody were to ask, Kab. Okay. Let's say she wants to give the answer in the form of the date that I'm going. Okay. So give me just one minute. Uh -uh. Yeah. Do you? Okay. I think some YouTube is playing. <laughs> yeah, I see. That's fine. In one minute, so I'm gonna. Okay. So let's say the answer is on the fifteenth. Aneska, okay. how will um, pan, I? I I don't know how you say pan pandra the fifteenth. I forgot how to do that. Uh, it's okay. Uh, but, 15. Pandra yes. yes. uh -huh. is 15, but I don't know what 15th is okay. with a TH. So when you're talking about date on the 15th, you will say Tariq. Oh. Right? Pandra, okay. Tariq, and then? Me, uh, Bharat, Jaungi. Okay. So these are, when you're saying on the 15th, it is governed by the post position ko. Ko. Ah. Right? We, we, we covered it. Or similarly, if you're saying on on the Monday, Mondays. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you will say Sombar me Sombar ko. Very good. Is Sombar. that what you would do? Sombar ko? Yes, Sombar ko. Okay. It's often governed by ko post position. Sombar ko, 15 tarik ko. Or let's say if it is third, you will say teen tariko, char tariko, paas tariko, right? Uh, Shaniwar ko, see Saturday, uh, Ravi bar ko, Monday, okay? 
शनिवार या रविवार को इधर सैटरडे और संडे ओके बुधवार को और वेंसडे आई एम रिपीटिंग इट सो इट कैंड ऑफ फिट्स इन योर एवरी वन माइंड राइट लाइक वेन यू आर यूजिंग डेट्स और डेज द टाइम रिलेटेड एडवर्ब्स आर ऑफन गवर्न बाय को ओके इज इट ऑलवेज दैट केस राइट नॉट नेसेसरली ओके सो दैट्स हाउ बेसिकली टाइम रिलेटेड एडवर्ब्स आर बेसिकली कैटेगराइज इन टू थ्री लेवल्स ओके वेयर देर इज नो पोस्ट पोजिशन इज बींग यूज सो राइट नाउ देर इज अ यूज ऑफ पोस्ट पोजिशन ओके देर इज नो यूज ऑफ पोस्ट पोजिशन दैट योर केस नंबर वन ओके केस नंबर टू इज um case number 2 is it's implied basically it's implied in the sense that uh, post position is left uh it's implied i'm going to say it implied so even though there is no post position but you modify the time related adverbs okay we'll cover as an example right how even though you don't see any post position but the word you end up using the oblique form of the the time related adverb okay so for example i'm going to give, give one example so that in hindi is let's see uh, uh shila ji what is that in hindi this and that right what is that and in case if you are okay yeah 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 you then okay what is that in hindi yeah okay yeah and the other part of yeah bah other part of yeah is bah uh-huh. this this and that, okay and day is din din right very good right so th- that is bah and day is din how about if i were to ask you that day How will you say that day in Hindi? Is it? Okay, so that is वह. वो तो. Okay, very good, right? So you ended up using okay, even though it's when you're joining them together, it's coming as वह दिन. But when you're using in a sentence, you ended up using उस दिन. उस दिन. Okay, उस दिन. And why is that the case? Us din. What's your implied call? Huh? What's your implied call? Very good, right? So the reason is because there is an implied call. You don't see call, but there is a call, and because of that, where becomes it changes to an oblique case. Okay, we'll come to that. I just want to give you the three categories. So first one. time related adverb those are the simplest one that you will learn where there is no need of any post position second one there is an implied co third one is there is a use of post position use of post positions which is what i gave in the beginning 15 tarikh ko somvar ko shanivar ko right so we'll do one by one we'll do the first one now the tricky thing is how do you know which one is which I and mean, that's a very hard question right the theory is most likely a lot of these uh time related adverbs they were used with post position okay and over time people have like you know eliminated them gradually and now we have the category right um and you will see that even now in some hindi speakers you will see that those nuances some are using post positions some are not using it right so that tells you that maybe you know it's just the change has occurred o- o- over the period okay um so far everyone good, good on the categories like at least the big picture is clear before we I jump in yeah many very basic about Uh, okay. Is the post position always co, or there are there other post positions? There are may, but there are other as well. Co is very common. May is also very common. Okay, those are the two very common uh, post position used with the time related words. Done, Ivan. Yes, awesome. Right. So let's jump to the very first one. 
um, and then so we have Mastranji joining as well. How are you doing, Mastranji? Kya chal raha hai? Hopefully, you can hear this. How are you doing, Mastranji? Ah, both are yeah. तबीयत कैसी आपकी? आ अभी तबीयत एकदम बढ़िया ठीक है बढ़िया यहाँ गर्मी का मौसम में बढ़िया तबीयत है ना बहुत दिनों के मिले हुए हमें मिलना चाहिए अच्छा तो ठीक है हम हम भी आपको मिलना चाहिए इसलिए आज आए मैं थोड़ा हर संडे तो बार था और एक बार तबीयत भी थोड़ा नारम थी तो इसलिए तो कॉफी दिन से नह Coming back to it. So first one, case one, time related adverb, means there is a no post position. Okay, no post position. And I'm gonna give there are a list of you know post positions, uh, uh like time related adverb. I'm not gonna go all of them, I'm gonna give the most common one. Okay, so let's say um here the simple sentence will start with you know. Um, the one sentence that I already wrote, I will go to Paris. Okay, so, so I want all of you to translate it, even though we covered it, but I want all of you to write it in uh, in Hindi. How will you say that? This is a simple one. At least all of you should be able to do that. Um, uh, it's all good if somebody or some of you are in the public place where you are not able to speak that's okay you know even though if i end up using your name you know just stay you don't have to say anything and i'll understand that you know right i will go to to paris how would you say it in hindi okay very good okay akhilji you want to unmute yourself how will you say it May Paris Jonga. So you will say uh May, which is I Paris. And this is written in future indefinite, and the verb is jana, which is to go, and you will remove the na. And for a guy, you will say jaunga. Right? So it becomes may paris jaunga for a guy, and for a girl, you'll be may paris jaungi. Okay. Um, as I said, the very first list of adverbs is when will be the question, okay? And that's the very first one, when. And when is, Akhilji, what is when in Hindi? Kab. Kab, very good, kab. So that's your, again, when you're using the kab, you will not hear kab ko or kab me. You will just hear kab, okay? Kab, okay? Now, what can be the possible answers, Akhilji? May kal Paris jaunga. Very good. Kal. So that's basically your category number one. I'm gonna erase. Uh, and you can say the answers here. May Agle Mahine Paris Jonga. Okay, so you have Kal. Very good, right? So Kal is your category number one. Now you said Agle Mahine. What is Agle Mahine? Next month. Okay. What do you think? It is category number one or category number two? I I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But it's basically what is next in general. If you were to just say next, next in Hindi is Agla. Very good. Month in Hindi is uh, Mahina. Very good. So consciously or subconsciously, you said the oblique case of both of them. You said Agla. You didn't say Agla Mahina. Main Agla Mahina Paris Jaunga. You said Main Agle Mahine Paris Jaunga. There is an implied ko there, which you are not saying it, but that implied ko is changing Agla to Agle, Mahina to Mahine. Okay? So the answer is absolutely correct. Main Agle Mahine Paris Jaunga. Okay? And uh, I'm going to go over all of that in the, uh, in the next category. Okay? But Good, good way to kind of explain the difference. Kal is you're not oh, you're not saying kal ko or kal me. Okay. Similarly, if you were to say today, that would be aj. Okay. Very good. Tomorrow. 
एंड टूडे एज यू सेड इज टूडे इज आज इट्स ऑल्सो टाइम रिलेटेड एट बर्थ मैं आज पेरिस जाऊंगा ओके वॉट एल्स सोमवार को पेरिस जाऊंगा सोमवार को किसी दिन पेरिस जाऊंगा ओ एक दिन एक दिन एक दिन मैं एक दिन पेरिस जाऊंगा वन डे आई विल गो टू पेरिस ओके वन डे आई गो टू इंडिया मैं एक दिन भारत जाऊंगा राइट इंडिया जाऊंगा यू सिमिलरली एक दिन यू नो चेंजिंग इनटू एनी ऑब्लिक केस वन डे ओके अम व्हाट एल्स अम अ डे आफ्टर टुमारो सो यू कल you today tomorrow day after tomorrow day after tomorrow ko hindi mein kya kehte hain okay ask your friends very good day after tomorrow um let's see so i think most of you some of you should know okay very good oh. sarah yeah also also very good also very good person there is a nasal i sound here if you don't say n but your person mai perso paris jaunga okay similarly perso it's basically that's how it is right so there is don't think of it as an oblique form okay um what is morning subah subah right morning main subah paris jaunga you will often hear like some hindi speakers subah mein they still use the post position mein there but by and large the use has been gone there is no separate post position you use with subah okay subah main subah school jaunga right you, you don't really hear that much in academics and subah mein okay um so far so good right so we did today tomorrow day after tomorrow one day um uh, morning i'm going to erase it and i'm going to say frequency now okay so this is your still case number 1 after g can i ask a question yes, please uh for all of these we're saying i i am going i will go to paris one day tomorrow the day after tomorrow are these in the oblique or not yeah none of these are in oblique you don't say kal you know there is no there is no post position employed with any of these so there's no oblique so yes there is no post position employed in any of these yes there's no like aaj is aaj ek din is ek din right Uh, you're not saying like for example if you were to say that day you ended up saying us din which is an implied post position okay okay thank you so similarly you know um let's say now that i have you <laughs> jdg let's say you have i cook food okay somebody was saying it so you know why not use cook and how will you say that jdg i cook food uh, May kana akatahun. Right, so you say may kana pakata hun. May kana pakata hun. Okay. Same thing. Ab kab kana pakate hai. And now you have to use frequency related words. Oh, okay. So may kana. No, may call kana pakata hun. So no, no that's not right. May yes. may call kana paka unga. Right. How about every day? Uh, every day, every day. Uh, pura din. Okay, har din. Har din. Right, har din. Right, ma ma har din kana. Paka unga. Okay. 
फॉर फ्यूचर मैं हर दिन खाना पकाऊंगा एंड फॉर जनरली इफ यू डू इट एज ए हैबिट मैं हर दिन खाना पकाता हूं पकाता हूं यस पकाता इफ यू डू इट एज ए हैबिट राइट मैं हर दिन खाना हाउ अबाउट ऑफ्टन ऑफ्टन आई डोंट नो ऑफ्टन ओके who do you think okay ask sara this you know it <laughs> aksar yeah very good aksar how will you use it now jdi ji main main aksar khana pakhata hu right i'm going to erase some of it again we are still in category number 1 you're not employing any post position after any of them any of them right You're not saying मैं हर दिन को और हर दिन में यू सिंपली सिंग मैं हर दिन खाना पकाता हूँ और मैं हर दिन स्कूल जाता हूँ और मैं अक्सर पेरिस जाता हूँ राइट वट अबाउट डेली वट अबाउट डेली जे डी जी यू नो डेली रोज रोज यूज इट इन सेंटेंस मै रोज हूँ खाना खाता हूँ ओके मैं रोज खाना पकाता हूँ ओके अमेजिंग वॉट अबाउट वॉट अबाउट कॉन्टिन्यूसली एंडिंग विद एल वाई कॉन्टिन्यू आई एम ईडिंग ऑल डे मैं रोज खाना खा रहा हूँ रहा हूँ कॉन्टिन्यूसली रहा raha okay may rose khana okay. kha raha hum right? I, i think i get what you're trying to say okay so i think you're using it in a continuous tense but yes but what the instead of using the continuous tense which is good you did it right in in addition to that if you were to say i eat continuously like without or he is stopping <laughs> so, so sentence is is still in you know um uh, you know um it's it's um, there is so there is an adverb to that basically continuously who would know that okay anybody what is continuously niranta where ha which one niranta niranta is correct okay so Nirantar is a new word for you, and then similarly, non-stop, lagata, lagata. He is working continuously. Who lagata, kam kar raha hai. Okay, lagata. I am going to write it in Devanagari. So you will lag with g and a laga, and you will tag with a and then lagata. Okay, who lagata. Uh, You know, I I worked eight hours continuously. मैंने लगातार काम किया. Okay, मैंने आठ घंटे लगातार काम किया. Okay, um, clear, right? So this is also you will not employ any post position after that. Okay, um, immediately. immediately Sara ji could you know immediately turant turant very good turant okay turant there is no post position employed after that how would you say he called immediately again you sara ji he called i'm going to write it down here the sentence and all of you can also make notes he called or called in the sense like phone right he called immediately okay yes sir i you he called immediately when i say call in the sense of phone call okay i'll i'll, I'll try <laughs> Uh, I think like to phone someone is quite a hard one. Um, um, वो तुरंत phone किया. 
I don't know if there's like a car, like if I. Very good. Call karna. You using it as a as a verb and use the past tense. Usne kya kia? Yeah. So usne uh, turant phone kia. Usne turant. Turant is immediately. Turant call kia or phone kia. Usne turant phone kia. Usne turant phone kia. He called immediately. Okay. Any any questions on this one? This may be hard for some because like there is a use of, uh, you know, ne here. So you have vah along with ne because, you know, it's a transitive word, call karna, right? Uh, that's why it changed. Usne turant call kiya. How do you spell turant in Devanagari? Yes, a good question, right? So the way you will do it is you have a ta with u. And then r dot on top turant 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 usne turant call kiya okay uh, you will also see it written as t with u r and half na and then t. both are same turant usne turant call kiya okay um so far so good right Still on category number one, these time related adverbs, they do not employ any post position. Okay. Uh, let's take, I'm going to give all of you some time. We've gone through so many now, right? We've learned about uh, kab, tab, aaj, kal, parso, ek din. Okay. Uh, we've learned about uh, uh, rose. Okay. Uh, lagatar, nirantar, turan. Okay. Good number of time related adverbs i want all of you to think about at least two sentences okay where you can use these time related adverbs okay i'm going to give you some time think about two sentences where you write it down as well um you know uh, you write down and then there's one more comment just in just like you have turant foreign it sounds like foreign but it's uh, it's also time related adverb foreign so you have a, how will you say, you have a fur without foreign. Foreign. Foreign is also quickly or immediately. Okay. So again, think about two sentences and write it down. And I'm going to ask some of you to share as well. Simple sentences is fine. Right? You don't have to make it too complex. The idea is like, is it coming? Turant or not in your mind. As long as it comes turant in your mind, that's all. You can make longer sentences, you know, gradually. <laughs> right? Okay, let's see who is doing it. Okay, awesome. Meeta ji, how are you doing? Oh yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Just got a bit of a cold. Um, no worries. You want to try it out? Yeah, Couple okay. Me furan chalti hu. Me furan chalti hu. I, I walk immediately. Okay. What else? One more. Me roz din utti hu. Me har din utti hu. Amazing. Right. Me roz utti hu. You can say me roz utti hu. Or you can say me har din utti hu. Okay. okay. Thank um, you. Anita ji. Professor Anita. Okay. Um, first one. Me aksar bharat jana chati hu. Okay. And what does it mean? I want to go to India often. Very, very good, amazing. And the second one I had, Tumne Muje Turan phone kyo nahi kia? Why good. didn't you call me immediately? Amazing, right? Why didn't you call me immediately? Right? Tumne Muje Turan call kyo nahi kia? Okay, great. Tisi Niaji, you want to share? Um, I wrote um, 
मैं खाल तोरे हिंदे परीक्षा पर बोल रही थी वेरी गुड कल द यूज ऑफ कल ओके um another one i i didn't write it yet i was writing it but me ros kasarat ke liye um ja jaati hu beautiful right me ros kasrat ke liye jaati hu okay um risha ji okay um बागरा जी यू वांट टू शेयर ओके क्रिस्टिना जी वो लगातार लगातार काम करते हैं राइट वो लगातार काम करता है ही वर्क्स कंटीन्यूअसली अमेजिंग ओके डैनियल जी मैं तुरंत ए गया मैं तुरंत ए गया कहाँ पे गया मैं immediately came over ओ मैं तुरंत आया ओ मैं तुरंत आया आया and then आया thank you yeah want to share one more um I did वहाँ Bina Rook Hassan, he laughed non-stop. Okay, okay, so which one? What's the word you're using for non-stop? Bina Rook, I missed it out, by the way, because I thought I was going to put Lagat. So, Vaha Lagata Rook Hassan. Okay, well, Lagata, Chalta hai. Or what did you, what are you saying? Lagata, I understood. So, after lagatar what did you say vah lagatar okay so vah asa would that be right i think type it because there is some something with the audio right so if you type it maybe i'll read it okay last one himani ji you want to try last one while you know daniel ji is typing yeah sure uh so the first one i wrote me parso stockholm jaungi okay parso stockholm jaungi okay or me aksar bahut der so rahi hu me aksar bahut late so rahi hu i i wrote bahut der bahut der yeah der so rahi hu der se so there you will use the post question me bahut der se so rahi hu Thank you. So, अक्सर बहुत you know if you were to say बहुत late, uh, then it's correct. मैं बहुत late सो रही हूँ. अच्छा. Um, and then Daniel जी wrote वह लगातार हँसा. Oh, he laughed non-stop. Okay, that is correct. Okay, हँसा I couldn't hear it before. Okay. So again, these are the list of time-related adverb where no post position is employed. Now we'll switch to category number two where uh, you know it's implied. Okay, this is a very interesting one. Uh, it's interesting because, like you know, uh, I didn't cover it in this manner before. Case number two. Okay, uh, explicitly I never covered it. Okay, um, and um, the example is like as I said, like you know, you were to use last and month. Okay, last in general you will say pichla, pichle. pichla pichli and pichle depending on the the noun that comes after that okay um pichla right so for masculine singular you will use pichla uh, for feminine singular it's uh, pichli and for feminine singular and plural you will use pichle i mean for feminine plural you use pichli with an nasal i sound but like you know generally you end up using both of them so mostly for masculine plural is pichle right मंथ इज महीना महीना राइट सो एज आई सेड लाइक वेन यू सेम सेम थिंग मैं आई वेंट टू पेरिस लास्ट मंथ राइट टिपिकली इफ यू वर्ट टू जस्ट से लास्ट मंथ यू विल से पिछला महीना लास्ट मंथ पिछला महीना ओके 
बट इफ यू टू से मैं पिछले महीने पेरिस मैं पिछले महीने पेरिस गया ओके देर इज एन एम्प्लाइड को हियर यू आर नॉट पुटिंग को बट थिंक ऑफ इट देर इज देयर विच इज चेंजिंग पिछला टू पिछले एंड महीना टू महीने ओके एंड दैट्स वॉट यू एंड यूजिंग मैं पिछले महीने पेरिस गया राइट सो दिस इज नंबर कैटेगरी नंबर टू वेयर द यूज ऑफ पोस्ट पोजिशन इज लेफ्ट अनएक्सप्रेस यू डोंट यूज इट ओके बट इट चेंजेस द टाइम रिलेटेड एड वर्ब्स एंड यू यूज इट इन ऑब्लिक केस बिकॉज यू मे वंडर लाइक यू नो दर इज नो पोस्ट पोजिशन इन वाई आर यूजिंग इट इन ऑब्लिक केस Similarly, that day, that day, you would say, "Me, us din, Paris gaya. Me, us din, Paris gaya. Right? Us din. Same thing. You, you know, you. Why? You, some of you may wonder why didn't you write vah, vah din, right? Um." Similarly, I'm going to erase it. And if you were to say, this month, this month, this month, how will you say this month in Hindi? Sharmila ji, how will you say this month? This month, hai na? Okay. Yeah, very good. This month, hai. इस महीने राइट सो दिस इज ये बट एज आई सेड लाइक यू नो इट यूज इन टू एन ऑब्लिक केस मैं इस महीने मैं इस महीने पेरिस जाऊंगा और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू से इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एम्फेसाइज इट राइट यू एंड यूजिंग मैं इसी महीने पेरिस जाऊंगा आई एल गो टू पेरिस दिस मंथ ओनली मैं इसी महीने पेरिस जाऊंगा राइट लेट से इफ समबडी वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू विच वीक Oh, let's say okay. Very good. Let's do this one. I don't think they did this week. Okay, last week. Last week. Okay, who would do that? Last week, Donna Ji. Last week. Pichle hafte. Very good. Right. Pichle hafte. Okay. What is week? हफ्ता, ओके, हफ्ता, इस आल्सो स्लैंग वर्ड इन इन सम पार्ट लाइक स्पेशली इन मुंबई, आई डोंट नो इफ यू फैमिलियर, बट इन बॉम्बे और मुंबई हफ्ता इस आल्सो यूज्ड एस लाइक लाइक अ फॉर्म ऑफ मनी और लाइक यू नो, वी डोंट यूज इट, बट लाइक यू नो इट्स कोलोकियली इन इन दैट रीजन हफ्ता इस यूज्ड एस ल money from from people as part of like security like if the law and order is not good like hafta like they go out and collect donations on money okay but generally this is correct hafta is a week right so pichle hafte both are in oblique case okay um so more um last year i went to paris last year how would you say that I went to Paris last year. Who is okay? Let's see, Sunita ji, how would you say I went to Paris last year? Um, May, Pichle Sal, Paris, um, Jai, okay, Jai, Jai. Jai, very good. Say it again one more time. May Pichle Sal. Paris guy. Right. So last year becomes pichle saal. Saal doesn't really have a separate oblique case. Only pichla. It's pichle saal. Me pichle saal Paris guy. Okay. In which month? Okay. Let's do this one. J D G. You were to ask someone in which month you will go to Paris. In which month? Uh, uh, yes. In which month you'll go to Paris? I'm not sure. Is it Kiss? Uh huh. This is correct. Kiss. Uh, K 
Kiss uh, Makine. Very good. Say it again, full thing. Uh, kiss Makine. Uh, May. No, there's no there's no post position here. Kiss Mahine. Uh, I don't I don't remember the sentence. <laughs> what is the sentence? I think this in which month A or you will go to Paris. Okay, A Kiss Mahine uh Paris uh Ja Ege. Very good, right? Me Mahine. Agle mahine Paris jaunga. Okay. Notice it. I'm not using ko. I'm not using me. Okay. No post position is being employed. It's just like the word is changed into an oblique case. Okay. Um, any 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 questions so far? Anyone? I have one. Um, Ashuji, what is yes. the difference between this and uh, Kansa? Um. So which one so kiss is which if you want to say which one that is consa consi and conse okay um oh. right so if you were to ask me i like this car and if i were to ask you which one consi car okay if you were to say i bought a phone i would ask you oh, which one in a way right so consa phone Okay. So you say, uh, uh, yes, you I mean, you can say that there's no one like, you know, you know, which one, I, that naturally comes to me, you know, you know, uh, you know, Paris Jayenge. Anyone else has a better explanation? Like, I'm happy to hear what you guys have. Pastranji? The question is, when do you use which and which one, like, you know, consa? Which, uh, well, there's a top of that. Uh, consa cell phone, correct, uh yeah. -huh. Consa brand, correct, uh yeah. -huh. Okay. Consa, consa, mahina, jaipo, jaipo, Yeah, yeah. Like a consa, huh? What is the difference in sound or meaning between saying up, Kiss me, Mahine Jayenge, and up Konse Mahine Me Jayenge. Okay, so up Kiss Mahine Jayenge, or Konse Mahine Me Jayenge. Konse Mahine. It's a. Uh, up Kiss Mahine, which month, and they both are giving the same information. Konse Mahine, which month. Right? They both are same. They give the same information. Oh, okay. Yeah, they both are same. Anyone else? Would like to share their thoughts? Sorry, Ashuji, is that difference not between what and which? It My is. Interest. So in English also, like, you know, you end up like, you know, um, you, you finish your explanation, maybe Nandiniji, that will help. Uh, no, in my head, I thought, and you say kiss Mahina, it sounded to me like what month? And then uh, Konsa Mahina means which month? Oh, Konse. Konse Mahine means which month? That's what is in my head. I might have got it wrong completely. I mean, kiss, month, kiss Mahine is also which month, basically. Kiss Mahine is, uh, um, it's also, it's which month, actually. Kiss Mahina. Even if you look at the textbooks in Academy. Oh, Kiss right. okay. Mahina is also which month. Konsa is more like, you know, Konsa, like Konsi Sari, right? Konsa phone. Like, so for me, when I'm using Sa in there, it's more about like, you know, a particular uh, thing, basically. Konsa, Konsi, and Konse, which one? Okay. But like in the sentence that Akhil mentioned, they both are giving the same information. Aap kis mahine parish jayenge versus aap konse mahine parish jayenge. They both are saying, you can... Is this Konsa something like Toda Sa? Is that Sa? No, it's completely no, no, different. It's different. Yeah, okay. it's not. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Shushi, uh -huh. um, may, maybe we could look at it and say like um, which type or what type the Konsa 
So that might be a better um, explanation of use use of the counter currency. Yeah, 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 yeah. The thing is like, which is correct, which is what I was alluding, but like the thing is like, it's not like a type of month, but there also it's working quite well. Right. Typically, you can see the difference in the type, right? You know, but like Konsi Sari, Konsa phone, Konsi card, you know, Konsa Bacha, right? Uh, versus, you know, Konsa Bacha Badmashi Karrahe, Ya Konsa Bacha Shor Karrahe, which, which boy or which kid is making noise in the class versus, you know, Kis Bacha Ne Shor Kia, right? Um, and anyway, I'll look into it more, but in this case, they both are giving uh, same information. Yeah. All right. So let's do some more at, at two o'clock. At two o'clock. At two o'clock. I'll, you know, I'll take the train at two o'clock. Who would like to give that? Donna ji? Um, may train, no, no. May Dobaje train. Um, Dobaje. My train is at two o'clock. No, Mera train Dobaje. Very good. Right. Mary train do baje. Train do baje. Right. Awesome. Um, okay. So so far so good. Right. So um, uh, again, this is still category two, where you know the post position is left and expressed with an oblique case. Um, you know, uh, with the oblique form of the the word that you have. Okay. Um, what about this one? Um, in those days. Okay, let's say in those days, you want to say, I used to go to Paris in those days. I again, habitual past, we did it in the previous class. So I hope some of you. Huh? Very good. Let's try one more time. So, where? <gasps> no. In Bundi, no? Ah, very good. Finish it now. Sentence. I used to go to Paris in those days. Yeah. Okay. No, just... Yeah. Okay, I think you got it. Uh, un dino, there is an Israelite -like sound here. So, me Paris. Finish it up. Yeah, jati ti, yeah, um, gai, but I think it's jati ti. Okay, me. Yeah, I used to go. Me un dino, Paris. Me un dino, Paris, jati ti. Those days I used to go. You know, so again, here you say, right, um, you know, may is, you can use may also, right? But like, may um, you know, Paris, jati thi. It, either way is fine, um, you know, may or without the may also would do. May um, you know, Paris, jati thi. And that's why it's category two. It's, you know, it's left and expressed, right? We'll do category three in the next class. I just wanted to kind of set the, uh, the like the basics for everyone. But so far, just to recap, we did two types of time related adverbs. In the first one, there is no uh, post position is being used. In the second one, is also there is no post position is being used, but the 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 words are changed into an oblique case. Such as this month becomes is mahine, last week becomes pichle hafte, last year becomes pichle pichle saal, next year becomes agle saal. Right? So we are not going agla saal. Me agla saal Paris jaunga. You think me agle saal Paris jaunga? Right. Um, now I do want to do one quick reading. So um, I'm going to share my screen um, and then um, for beginners, you have to just listen, like don't worry 
too much if this is a little bit difficult for you the devanagari script uh, but what we'll do is we'll read this paragraph because i think we started the reading thing and i think we should continue it right i think it's good use of everyone sort of like you know um right so hopefully all you can see my screen there are two people talking about uh you know this is the contrafactual thing i originally wanted to cover but we change it uh who would like to cover read it raise your hand so i can kind of deepak and kavita one will be deepak and one will be kavita whoever is interested i can read okay right who is that jessina okay so okay so you will be uh jd will be deepak and you will be kavita okay all yours jd you are deepak and um, you are kavita okay okay kavita agar tum bahut amir ho hoti to uh, kahan rahti bahati अगर मैं बहुत अमीर होती तो मैं न्यूयॉर्क में रहती न्यूयॉर्क में तुम क्यों रहती पता पता नहीं न्यूयॉर्क इतना बड़ा शहर है और वहां अलग अलग सारा के लोग रहते हैं नेक्स्ट लाइन वहां वहां जरूर बहुत मज मजा में It says maza. They just said, the print is not correct, but it's called maza. Maha maza. Uh, okay, acha. Um, maza ata. Tu kaha rehte? Agar me Amir hota to me tab b Delhi me rata. दिल्ली में क्यों रहते दिल्ली की क्या खासियत है टुगेदर ओके खासियत है ओके दिल्ली बहुत अच्छा सरा है यहाँ सेब कुछ मिलता है अगर तुम बहुत आमिर होते तो क्या तुम कॉलेज में पढ़ते यहाँ बहुत अच्छा सवाल है अगर मैं बहुत आमिर होता तो uh shayad may college uh i can't see the screen there is a hold on may nahi par ta may nahi uh janta kya tum par is is uh karti kya tum doctor banati ha uh. अगर मैं बहुत अमीर होती तो तब भी मैं पढ़ाई करती अगर अमीर होती तो क्या एक न्यू गाड़ी थी था खरीदी अपने लिए नहीं खरीदती लेकिन 
माँ बाप के लिए खरीदती ओके सम ऑफ यू मे हैव गेस्ट इट्स अ कॉन्वर्सेशन अबाउट इंटरफेक्चुअल थिंग लाइक यू नो दे बोथ आर टॉकिंग टू ईच अदर व्हाट वुड यू डू इफ यू वर रिच राइट दिस इज द कॉन्वर्सेशन दैट इज गोइंग प्लेस लेट्स जस्ट रीड इट वन मोर टाइम हु एल्स वुड लाइक टू रीड इट जस्ट सो दैट देयर इज अ रिपीटेशन एंड यू रीड इट और यू हियर इट आई कैन डू इट या ओके अनिस्का जी एंड आई थिंक सारा सेड सर Okay. You are Deepak, Aneska ji, and Kavita. You are Kavita, Sara ji. Okay. Yeah. Kavita, अगर तुम बहुत अमीर होतीं, तो कहाँ रहतीं? अगर मैं बहुत अमीर होती, तो मैं न्यूयॉर्क में रहती. हाँ, न्यूयॉर्क में तुम क्यों रहतीं? पता नहीं. न्यूयॉर्क इतना भरा शहर है. और वहाँ अलग 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 तरह के लोग रहते हैं वहाँ जरूर बहुत मजा आता तुम कहाँ रहते अगर मैं अमीर होती तो मैं तब भी दिल्ली में रहता दिल्ली में क्यों रहते दिल्ली का का क्या खासियत है दिल्ली बहुत अच्छा शहर है यहाँ सब कुछ आ, मिलती है अगर तुम बहुत अमीर होते तो क्या तुम कॉलेज में पढ़ते ये बहुत अच्छा आ, सवाल है आ, अगर मैं बहुत अमीर होते आ, तो शायद मैं कॉलेज में नहीं पढ़ता मैं नहीं जानती क्या तुम पर इस नो ऐसी क्या तुम पराय खर्ची क्या तुम व्हाट इज दैट सोच नो नो डॉक्टर सॉकर बंटी डॉक्टर ओ डॉक्टर डॉक्टर ओ या ला ला तुम डॉक सॉरी क्या तुम डॉक्टर बंटी हाँ अगर मैं बहुत अमीर होती तो तब भी मैं पढ़ाई करती अपने अपने एम आई ना रॉन्ग ओ अगर अगर अमीर होती तो क्या एक नया गाड़ी करी थी अपने लिए नहीं खरी खरीदी